Good afternoon, I'm Bob Flangwell from Acoustic Magic. We're in Sudbury, Massachusetts, and we manufacture the voice tracker of array microphone. And I don't know if any of you know it or use it, <coughs> uh, but it's an array microphone. So this little puppy, which is 18 inches long, has eight microphone elements inside. They're always on. It's not like some multi uh, microphone systems where they just choose the best microphone. So even if they have eight, they're only gonna listen to one at a time. There are eight always on, and that increases the range. But the real magic in the acoustic magic is the digital single processing we do to the input from those eight microphones. There's a DSP in there, and we have algorithms that form a beam, a listening beam. So if somebody's talking, if Jeremy's talking, the beam is going to point at him, and if somebody else starts to talk, it'll go to that other talker in about two milliseconds. The advantage of that is it creates a spatial filtering. We're just listening to this part of the room when Jeremy's talking, so we're not going to hear other noise from around the room. Secondarily, when there's nobody talking, we sample what's going on in the room. If there's a fan humming or something like that, we filter that out. So the combination of the eight always on microphones and the spatial filtering and the background noise reduction is that this microphone picks people up at ranges of 30 feet. And it does it in a 360 degree field of view. So essentially, it's a unidirectional microphone with an omnidirectional field of view. That uh, is great for lecture recording because most people want to hear the professor as he moves around, but also questions from the class. So this one microphone can do that. <clears throat> the other thing that uh, schools like about it is it's only $249. So it's an incredibly economic solution compared to having five or six microphones hanging from the ceiling connected by a mixer. Uh, also, as a result of that, it's much easier to set up. It's just plug and play. You put it into your PC. Uh, it's very reliable. We've been shipping this since 2002. And uh, a lot of people just, it's got a built-in ceiling mount. They put it up in the ceiling. They turn it on 24-7 and don't worry about it anymore. Uh, compared to wireless mics, it's got the advantage that it doesn't have any crosstalk, which is a problem if you're in a, in a room with, uh, or a, a school situation with a lot of uh, classrooms are in close proximity. It's powered from the wall, so it doesn't have batteries. So you don't uh, find at the end of your recording that you're out of batteries and you didn't record the lecture. So as a result of all these attributes for lecture recording, about 350 schools and universities have, are using it. Some schools, more than 100 of them. And it's recommended by Panopto and Tegrity and Echo360 and everybody else that makes lecture recording systems. Now, if you want to do distance learning, or if this is really set up for recording the lecture, put it up on the internet. But if you have participants in the class from outside the room whose voice is coming out of the loudspeaker, you have to do acoustic echo cancellation. So if you plug this into something that has acoustic echo cancellation, like a polycom or a biamp or whatever, you can use it. If you want to plug it into some kind of voice over internet system that doesn't have acoustic echo cancellation, we came out with our second product called the Voice Tracker 2, very original. The, the Voice Tracker 2 is like the Voice Tracker 1. It has an array of microphones and a microprocessor inside. Uh, it only has six. It's a little smaller, so it has less range. Its range is more like 20 feet. Uh, but what it does have is a built-in acoustic echo canceller, which is uh, pretty good for $360. So this is $249. This is $360. But you can use this with voice over internet products like GoToMeeting, and uh, it has its own echo canceller, so you don't have to worry about whether the voice over internet product has a good echo canceller or not a good echo canceller or whatever. <clears throat> uh, we're talking about lecture recording, but the microphones are also good for other applications. A lot of people use them for automatic speech recognition if they don't want to wear a headset. Um, but uh, I guess hearing is believing, so. I've tried to set up a demo in our room. I'll try to walk around a 30-foot room and let you hear the results. So please come in, and I hope to see you.